Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 10th through the 16th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Scorpio, whoa. <clears throat> All right. Whew. The overall energy for the reading, which I'm glad I'm seeing here, the Hermit. Yeah, that's, that's uh, kind of taking it all in and healing through whatever's going on here, because there's a lot of stuff going on, um, <clears throat> which I feel like that's the best approach to deal with everything so let's see here in the recent past the three of swords the empress the ace of wands uh somebody did something i'm not sure who i kind of see it as somebody did something towards you and i don't know what that was that they did but it brought in a lot of pain for you <clears throat> okay in the current situation, the Page of Swords, the Hierophant, the Two of Swords. You're very limited in your energy that you're directing towards this situation at this moment in time. And a lot of the limitation comes from um, you kind of overthinking things. So being stuck in your head about what's at play right now. In the immediate future, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Devil, you're kind of seeing the ways in which things didn't quite play out in the way you thought they would. Um, and it's quite stressful. It's not pleasant looking at this energy, but you're doing it. So again, that tells me that there's some healing going on, even though the energies at play are not looking like, you know, the very best at this moment in time, but okay. Let me do the Hermit. <clears throat> the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Cups. Yeah, no, you're, you're pulling your energy inward. You're pulling your energy inward, which I know is very hard to do sometimes, especially when things are at play. Because um, everything that's going on here might have the tendency to pull you out and making you start focusing on whatever the hell is at play like i wonder where they're coming from with this kind of an energy i wonder what they're doing now i wonder what they did five minutes ago i want you know i wonder i wonder not really and i like your approach because this takes a lot to do this but you're doing it nonetheless you know um whenever those intrusive thoughts come in you're kind of like no 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 mm -mm. we're not doing that you know so you're definitely very determined to not only uh, pull all of that energy more towards you, like inward, uh, but you're very determined to fight to stay there um, as things happen here. So that's a pretty big thumbs up to you for that one. Um, let's do the three of swords in the recent past, the ten of wands, the four of swords, the lovers. All right, so yeah, something caused pain here, very difficult to deal with, but nonetheless, I feel like you tried to heal it, tried to work through it, because at the end of the day, this situation is very important to you. Okay, let's do the Empress. The Moon, the Six of Wands, the Seven of Cups. See, because this energy leaves a sense of openness. Um, This energy comes through with a sense of openness. They seem quite free in their energy and the way they're showing up, almost like, you know, I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna show up for this. But at the same time, knowing that they're free to go anytime they want, which to some extent, that's kind of a healthy way to show up in something. On another hand, if you kind of use and abuse that side of things, then we have an issue. Then you're kind of allowing yourself to do whatever the hell you want. Because you're free to go anytime you want. So that means I don't give a shit, you know? So it depends on how they 
kind of showed up in this energy, in all honesty. Did they show up from that sense of, I'm my own person, I'm very much independent, I'm strong, I know who I am, and I'm, you know, this, this is who I am? Or did they show up in a way of, I can screw up and I don't give a shit, because I'm free to go anytime I want, because I'm free, I'm independent, look at me. I don't know. I don't know how they showed up. They're just showing me the energy, how they used it, you know, <clears throat> let's do the Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Three of Wands. This is almost like a, um, like waiting for someone to show up for, there's a commitment, there's a sense of commitment here, and someone is just sitting there and pointing towards the other energy being like, I'm just waiting for them to show up for this. Because even though this is here for both of us and we're part of it, they're not showing up for it. I don't know who the pointer is, who the pointee is. I have no idea who's who here. I'm just seeing it how it plays out. Okay. Um, let's do the page of swords. Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, the world card. You're hoping that things will turn back around, you know, for the better in this situation, but you're not expecting it. So you're not pushing this towards an expectation. Like, I really hope that things will turn out for the better and I'm not leaving anywhere until that does happen. Mm. No. Um, there's a sense of hope here, which, I mean, the way it's showing up, it's quite healthy, quite normal. Um, you're very much, or you're trying your best to kind of stay in the flow of things as they are without creating any sort of expectation and, you know, living through that or um, even without living through past experiences. So kind of trying to keep it in the present as much as possible here. For the Hierophant, to get the Ten of Swords, the Magician, the Three of Swords. Oof. Um, there's a lot of built up pain though that um, still needs healing here for this situation. And I'm kind of seeing you in the middle of all of that pain, trying to manifest something. Um, I would recommend against that. I wouldn't recommend manifesting from a place of pain. I would first recommend to heal that pain or try start working with it at least and kind of try to kind of move it out of the way. Because think of it this way, you're, you're in this bubble of pain, right? You're right there in the middle of it, you're surrounded by your own pain. And you're sending out a signal to the universe. That signal is going to go from you through that pain to the universe. I don't even want to imagine how the universe is going to receive that manifestation. Because it's going to be something disguised in pain. And the universe, believe it or not, responds to manifestations. And you don't want that pain sent back to you um, in a different way, shape, or form, you know, than you sent it out to the universe. I would work with this pain. And maybe that's what you're doing with that hermit there. But um, <clears throat> let's do the Two of Swords. <clears throat> the Eight of Wands, the Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles. That that is pretty nice because even though you're showing me you don't know what's gonna happen you're confused you have no idea you this that and the other so there's a little sense of as much as you're trying to stay in the present moment these intrusive thoughts of what if you know the future the past the all of that and they're still gonna try to pop in there especially when there's so much pain involved <clears throat> but underneath all that I kind of see a pretty clear energy on your side, you know, a pretty clear intention. You're coming through with a pr pretty clear intention that I feel like you may even speak it out loud to yourself sometimes, maybe in the morning when you wake up or at night when you go to bed. Um, when you kind of veer off of that intention, that's when you lose it. That's when you leave plenty of room for those thoughts to come in. Um, but when you stick with your intention, that's what keeps you in the moment. That's what keeps you in the present. And that's what keeps you focused. 
and your intention seems to be for things to work out. How? I don't know. Maybe you don't even know how. You know, leave that part to the universe. Um, just for things to work out, especially for you in this situation. So try to keep focused on your intention. If you have one intention for the situation at this moment in time or for yourself, try to keep with it. And again, if you don't speak it out loud to yourself, try to do that, you know, in the morning, at night, whenever it feels comfortable to you before you go to bed or something. I don't know. But so that it's clear in your head. That might actually help out a lot here. Um, for the Six of Pentacles, you get the King of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Knight of Wands in the immediate future. <clears throat> you're, um, you're, you're beginning to surround yourself with energies that do fall in the category of equal give and take. That could mean friends you're hanging out with, even situations that you're dealing with, I don't know, volunteering for an animal shelter, I don't know, things like that, I don't know. You're surrounding yourself with situations that fall into the category of equal give and take, and it feels good. You're still pressed by what's going on here, but those energies lift you up there in energy, so that feels good. That feels really, really good. There's still a little bit of the low. Uh, surrounding this because they're still healing around this but you know you're starting to pick yourself up here let's do the nine of swords in the immediate future the temperance card the five of pentacles the ten of pent the ten of cups um you're a little bummed out you're a little like you know what is this going to be done uh at some point in time you're stopping and asking how much longer till I'm healed out of this situation? Because I'm kind of done, kind of bored. I'm, I, I think I'm done with it. I think I'm healed, huh? What do you say? I think I'm healed. Do you think I'm healed? I think I'm healed. Come on, chop, chop. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, and you know that you're, you're kind of, yeah, no, you, you know that. It's gonna take a minute, you know? Just because you feel a little better, because you start surrounding yourself with energies that do you good, uh, doesn't mean, oh, okay, I'm done. Mm. No. Let's do the devil in the um, immediate future. You get the hangman, the two of wands, the 10 of pentacles. <clears throat> when you get bored, or when you fall into these places of, I think I'm done, you're actually placing that energy of healing on hold. And when you do that, eh, who knows when you're gonna come back to it? You know, cause you don't even know you placed your energy on hold, your, your healing over this on hold. You may think that you're done then. Done, free. No, you're just placing it on hold. Think of it as starting to work on a, um, a puzzle and you do 99 pieces of 100 and you see the 100th piece, you're just not putting it in there. And you're like, oh, I'm done. No, you're not. Not until you place that freaking piece in there, you know? Kind of the same. Kind of the same deal. So if you convince yourself that you're done or that, you know, um, and the energy of this healing is not done, then, you know, it's going to show up at some point in time, even 10 years from now and tell you, hey, you forgot to put that piece in there to actually check, done. So try not doing that. Try to just allow for this process to unfold naturally and be done when it wants to be done. You know, try not to, because you're coming from a place of, you know, it's been a while, you know, and we all have this tie to time for some reason that just kind of fucks us up sometimes. And this is one of those times. So try to just let it unfold. Um, let's see what the universe has for you as a final advice. Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands. Um, be very, very, very 
mindful of the things you say to yourself. Um, you have a little bit of rejection when it comes to that in the sense of you know how sometimes we can throw things, you know, words out in the ether being like, hmm, that doesn't mean anything. Be very, very mindful, especially of the things you say to yourself, you know. Um, so one example of that would be when you say, oh, I was so stupid when I did that. To you, it's like, no, oh, that's nothing. I didn't insult myself just there. I just threw it out there like it's nothing. No, no, no. Be very, very mindful. For some reason, the universe is kind of like insistent here with tell them. I'm like, I am. Tell them more pressing so that they know. Okay. That's why I gave it that way. Be very, very mindful of the things you say to yourself here. Uh, they're quite powerful. That goes for, you know, every day of your life, every instance of your life. But especially during this time, be very, very mindful of the words, the things, the whatever you tell yourself there. You know, there's quite the resonance in what you say to yourself. Especially during this experience that you're going through. So, I did say very pressing there anyways that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye